Hi RAV owners, this is John with eTrailer and today we're going to be taking a look at the Kuat Sherpa 2.0 bike rack for the 2020 RAV4. Now the Kuat Sherpa comes in three different colors. It's going to come in pearl, gray, and black. And that works well if you have different colors for your vehicle, so you can choose whichever one fits best for you. Now this is a two inch version, but it also comes in an inch and a quarter in case you have that for your hitch type. Now what's great about this platform style rack is two things. The fact that it can hold a good amount of weight, it can hold 40 pounds per bike, which means that you can have your heavier bikes like your mountain bikes, along with the fact that it is no frame contact, which means that uh, it's going to be held by the wheel. And that means whenever you have carbon frame bikes like this, you won't have to worry about doing any damage to them. Another super useful feature of this bike rack is the fact that we can tilt it away. Now with other platform style bike racks, uh, you do usually get the tilt away feature, which means you can leave your bikes on the bike rack and open up your hatch, which means that you're able to get out any of your stuff you may have in the back, whether that be helmets or any of your equipment. And as you can see, we have enough room where we can open and close without worrying about it hitting our bikes. Now we do have a shorter uh, bike whenever it comes to the handlebars. So that may be something to keep in mind whenever you are getting this for your bike and it's easy to just put it back into place and then you're ready to go. Now taking the bike off is very easy. There's two points that we have to worry about. Uh, this is holding our bike wheel in place at the top and then we are also going to have this strap down here. Now I always recommend taking the strap off first and then using the cradle holding the bike in place and then all you have to do is lift it up and then you're ready to go. Now taking a closer look at the ratcheting hook, as you can see, all you have to do is press the button down and then it's going to go back into place. It is very easy to move this up and down. Uh, it's one of the smoothest that I've seen. So I recommend putting that down, putting the strap back in place whenever you're finished with it. And then with uh, the wheel hold, all you have to do is push this down and that's gonna be able to hold your bike and it's gonna stay out of the way once you put it down. Now this is the pivoting wheel cradle. This is gonna hold the back wheel and as you can see, it's gonna be able to hold different wheelbases depending on what you have. It's gonna work great for off-road bikes like your mountain bikes and also uh, road bikes. Along with that, I will recommend that you not use this for your fat tire bikes because they will unfortunately not fit in this. Now let's get some measurements. As you can see with this on the back of our RAV4, it is going to add a little bit of length. So let's check and see how much we've added. About 31 inches. Now keep that in mind whenever you're backing into a specific area. So you may have to keep that in mind. Uh, luckily, you're actually able to tilt this up the same way that you tilted it down. So with it tilted down like this, closest point is going to be about 17 inches. Now when it's tilted up, you are pretty close to the edge right here. It's about two and a half inches, uh, which isn't anything to really worry about in my opinion. It is kind of close, but as you can see, it's not gonna move any closer. Now something to keep in mind whenever you're going on rocky terrain or up a hill is the ground clearance. Now it's gonna be around 11 inches off the ground. So that's something to keep in mind uh, so you don't have to worry about any damage to your Sherpa. Now, as you can see with our bike here today, it is pretty close to the back of our RAV4. That's something to keep in mind whenever you're putting your bikes on here. We measured from the middle of our bike to the end and it's around 12 inches. So something to keep in mind and check out your bike handlebars to see if it fits. Now with it being flush with your hitch, you won't have to worry about it getting any closer to the ground, which is really nice. I would say that as long as your hitch is fine, your bike rack should be fine as well. Now the anti rattle system is going to be right in the front here. All you have to do is tighten it up. There's no tools required. Once you tighten it up, you can see as I shake it, it's only shaking really the vehicle itself. It's not having any play in the actual hitch. Now the Kuat Sherpa is going to only work with two inch by two inch hitches. And it's also going to come with this hitch pin and this hitch lock, which will actually be key to like with your Sherpa. Now one final feature that comes with your Sherpa is the security feature, which is a cable lock. It's very easy to work with. All you have to do is basically make it go through your bikes. And then from there, all you have to do is lock it up, which is really nice that it actually comes key to like with the hitch lock. Now, my final thoughts for the Kuat Sherpa is the fact that it's one of my favorite bike racks here. 
It's super easy to load and unload. And the fact that it has this anti-rattle system that works amazing, we've worked with this uh, hundreds of times and it's still holding steady, as you can see. Uh, it also has a really nice look to it, uh, super slick. And I would say if you're a RAV4 owner, you can't get much better than this. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side-to-side -side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then, onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or even uneven pavement. Last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway. And that was a look at our Kuat Sherpa 2.0 bike rack for our 2020 RAV4.